Okay, so for this next part, we're, we're going to do an example. I left the steps up here so we can scroll up to that if we uh, need to for reference. So I'd like to rewrite the integral from 0 to 4, integral um, y over 2, all the way up to y over 2, then plus a 1, of the function 2x minus y over 2 dx dy. Uh, we'll do this using the transformation. U is equal to uh, 2x minus y over 2, and V is equal to y over 2. So, um, in doing this, step one, if we go back and look, was to take the transformation, uh, choose a transformation, and write it as u equals something, v equals something. So how was the transformation chosen? It was just given to us. So given, right? We were just given that u is equal to 2x minus y all over 2, and v is equal to y over 2. So nothing to do for that step. Let's look at step 2. We need to solve for x and y in terms of u and v. So how are we going to do that? I think um, solving for y is easier. So take the equation v is equal to y over 2. Divide, uh, so multiply both sides by 2. And you have y is equal to 2v. Cool. Good. We've got um, y written in terms of u and v. In fact, y only needs to be written in terms of v. Then let's take a look at the other equation we have. So u is equal to 2x minus y over 2. Multiply both sides by 2. And you get um, 2u is equal to 2x minus y, uh, we can now replace the y with a 2v. So we'll have 2u is equal to 2x minus, from over here, we know that y is equal to 2v. And let's add 2v to both sides. So you have 2u plus 2v is equal to 2x. And then all we need to do is divide both sides by 2, and you'll have here that x is equal to u plus v. So cool, we've got x equals u plus v, and y equals 2 times v. So, so we, have, we have done step two. Uh, the point, maybe to summarize it, maybe the algebra is getting in the way, is that the transformation is written two ways. One is u equals uh, 2x minus y all over 2, and v is equal to y over 2. So the transformation can be written like that. It becomes... Um, x equals u plus v, and y equals 2u, and these are the same, okay? So there's actually um, no problem uh, writing the transformation either way. Uh, we kind of will see uses of both of them, so that's why it was just helpful to make clear both of these. So the whole point was to take the transformation written in this format and write it in this format instead, and... Um, yeah, we needed x to be written as a function of u and v and y to be written as a function of u and v. Before going on, just a quick little side note for those who have done some linear algebra. I'll just point out that what's going on here, even though in a sense it's the same translation, you can also, uh, transformation, you can talk about these as being inverse transformations. We're not going to say much more about it. Don't worry about it here. Um, if you were to write out matrices for each of these. Uh, step three. Let's go take a look at what what step three was. Uh, up here, step three, based on the transformation chosen, describe the region S in the UV plane corresponding to the region R in the XY plane. Again, this, this step is highly geometric. If you try to leave out geometry from this process, things are not going to go well. So if we take a look at based on how the region is described, so based on the original problem, we saw in, um, that in the original problem, what is the region R? So it's the set of points x, comma y satisfying. We'll see that x has to go. Uh, we see it here, right? X has to go at the smallest from. So x is bound between y over two and y over two plus one, and then y is bound between zero and four. So zero less than or equal to y less than or equal to four. Okay, we need to draw this, yeah, to understand what this what this space is. So this this R is a certain part of the XY plane, and what is it? 
So there's x, there's y, and if we graph, uh, let's see, x equals y over 2. In other words, we graph y equals 2x. It looks like that. So this line here, let's say, is um, x equals y over 2. And then one unit over, this is x equals y over 2 plus 1. So yeah, x is between this lower value and this upper value. And then y is between 0 and 4. So the region that's shaded here all the way up to, well, yeah, so from 0. So don't shade below the x-axis. We don't need that. Okay, so this is a picture of the region R. Yeah, this is uh, this is R. Okay, now what? We need to convert this. Um, and how are we going to do that? So let's take a look at this. How, how are we going to convert... Um, x equals y over 2. So let's take, take a look at x equals y over 2, and let's convert this, keeping in mind that um, x equals u plus v and y equals 2v. So let's make some replacements. Okay. So um, on the left side, x gets replaced with u plus v. And then on the right side, the y that's in the numerator gets replaced with 2v, so we end up with 2v over 2. And if we simplify, this is u plus v is equal to v. Uh, and if we subtract v on both sides, u is equal to 0. So this so this, this line here, which is tilted in the xy plane, um, right? it ends up becoming the equation u is equal to 0. What about the next one? So what about this line here? It's, its equation written in x and y's is x equals y over 2 plus 1. Now we do some algebra, replace the x with u plus v, replace the y with 2v, so 2v over 2, then plus 1. So we'll have here u plus v equals v plus 1, subtract v on both sides, and you get u is equal to 1. All right, so this line here, this other tilted line, um, ends up becoming the, the line u is equal to 1. What about this line here? This is the line y is equal to 4. Right? So if we just continue drawing this line, um, that's another line that describes uh, is part of describing our region R. So y equals 4, let's just maybe write this down here, y equals 4. Replace the y with 2v again. So you have 2v is equal to 4, and divide both sides by 2, v is equal to 2 is what that equation becomes. And then one more equation is down here. That's the last equation determining um, uh, uh, the, the region R. And that equation was, of course, y equals 0. And then so that is 2v is equal to 0, just replacing the y. And to solve for v here, we'll get v is equal to 0. OK, so the four lines that are here that defined the filled-in parallelogram R turn into these four equations here. Um, u goes between u equals 0, u equals 1, v equals 2, v equals 0. So what we should do is set up um, a drawing in the uv plane, okay? And since u goes starts at 0 and ends at 1, and then v starts at 0, this is actually the starting one down here, yeah? It ends up here. Um, v starts at 0 and ends at 2. This rectangle here is actually a picture of the region s in the uv plane. Again, this process involves some algebra, yeah, but you cannot just try to do algebra. This is geometry, all right? Uh, finally, step four, um, write out the function f, okay? Using, um, so we have here f, by the way, is 2x minus y over 2, right? f, so step four, uh, f is equal to, two, oh, I already forget what it was. 2x minus y all over 2. Oh, let's just say one other thing here, that the region S, it's the set of points uv in, yeah, in the uv plane, where 0 less than or equal to u less than or equal to 1, and 0 less than or equal to v less than or equal to 2. All right. So 
we need to rewrite f by replacing x and y, and we're going to use this thingy here again. Let me just copy paste this thingy down here somewhere. Okay, just as a helpful reminder. So we'll have two times uh, x gets replaced with u plus v minus y gets replaced with 2v. It's all over 2. So we have, after distributing 2u plus 2v minus 2v over 2, cancel, cancel, cancel this way. We just, oh, we just get u. Okay. And then finally, step 5, uh, going back up, is to compute the Jacobian. All right, so let's do that. Um, we need it written in this fashion here. Okay, so the partial derivative of both x and y with respect to variables u and v. Okay, it, we've got here, let's see, so this is actually the computation we started uh, at the beginning. So partial derivative of u plus v with respect to u is 1 plus 0. Partial derivative of u plus v with respect to v is 0 plus 1. Um, then partial derivative of y, which is 2v, and we're going to do that with respect to u here and with respect to v there. So we're going to get here 0 and 2, and this computation, just to do it again, is 1 times 2 minus 1 times 0, which is equal to 2 minus 0, which is equal to 2. Putting everything together, um, as our final step, it's to say that the double integral, um, let's just write it, uh, we were originally given integral 0 to 4, integral y over 2 to y over 2 plus 1 of the function 2x minus y all over 2 dx dy. And look, substitution ends up changing the bounds of the integrals. Yeah, So we don't have the bounds being exactly the same anymore. What we have is, let's go ahead and write the du dv to begin with. Okay, So um, then the u is on the inside. And uh, we see from up here, or from the picture, that u goes from 0 to 1 and that v goes from 0 to 2. Then finally the the function we had oh sorry not not there the 2 2 x minus y turned into just a u so we'll write that in place here maybe we will use colors to say that became that and then um, dx dy should become uh, 2 times du dv, the 2 here being copied from, I need another color, uh, from right there. Yeah, recall that dx dy becomes Jacobian times du dv. Uh, the point is, uh, we're, we're basically done, but if we wanted to just maybe rewrite this without um, all the colors and we swap the 2 and the u, so 2u du dv, this is actually a real nice integral to do, isn't it? So leave the outside integral alone. Let's make the v really look like a v, though. Uh, integrate 2u with respect to u, so you have u squared uh, over 2. Oh, wait, 2u squared over 2. So just u squared. Yeah, u squared, which we'd evaluate at u equals 1 and at u equals 0. And we won't continue. I mean, there's there's more steps. But the point is, the original integral isn't all that bad. It's just this integral is even nicer. Now, um, I'd like to just suggest for the interactive question that we do the following. So let R be the region in the first quadrant bounded by um, y is equal to negative 2x plus 4, y is equal to negative 2x plus 7, y equals x minus 2, and y is equal to x plus 1. Now. Um, the first step, or let's put it this way, one step um, in converting the double integral over the region R of the function 2x squared minus xy minus y squared dx dy um, is um, using substitution and then again we'll just suggest the substitution here so using u is equal to x minus y and 
v is equal to 2x plus y using that substitution and computing the Jacobian. So for the interactive question, just compute the Jacobian, just to make it not too much work here. Compute the Jacobian, but first you have to, you know, first, first you have to solve for x and y before computing the Jacobian. All right, um, that'll be it for the interactive question. If you wanted to, though, to follow up on it, um, go through the six-step process. Right, so re completely rewrite the integral. You know, so yeah, do all the process that's described here. That would be certainly better. Don't need the, to make that part of the interactive question, though. That's a lot of extra work, I guess. So, you know, completely uh, rewrite, yeah, rewrite this integral. If you want to challenge yourself and do more, and it would be really good practice, is to convert this to a du dv integral.